hi everyone, this is Neil writer Tech, consultant audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the WaxGate. And here we have a patient who attended a very narrow ear canal. So prior to attending, this patient's a, a regular patient, they normally attend every 18 months. And my clinical notes, um, I highlighted that they have got very narrow ear canals. And I thought, well, this is going to be a good test for the WaxGate because in essence, um, this is why the wax goat was somewhat developed because in patients with very narrow ear canals, um, uh, with the endoscope, some specialists can struggle to stretch the ear open because you don't have a speculum with the endoscope. And instead, you're having to use the endoscope itself to stretch the ear open. So I thought, let's use the wax goat and see how we fare. So at present, I'm using our medium-sized specular to stretch open the ear canal. So for anyone that um, doesn't know, our ear canals are not straight cylindrical tubes. In fact, they're oval-shaped, so the height is greater than the width. Uh, approximately the, the average height, and it varies amongst individuals, even between ears, and also at different parts of the ear canal. But if we have an average, let's just say the average height, is between 0.7 and 0.9 centimeters and the average width is um, about say um, 0.5 to 0.7 millimeters so it gives it this oval shape and the outer third is made up of cartilage whereas the inner two thirds of the ear canal is made up of bone so whenever we stretch an ear open we can't obviously stretch open the bony part that's rigid so uh, if the, the bony part of the ear canal is narrow, we, we're having to work around that. But we do have some manoeuvrability and flexibility with the outer third. So uh, in cases of bendy, twisty or narrow ears, uh, in, which is this is what this patient has, very narrow ears, we can somewhat manipulate the outer third to stretch the ear open. And that's what the speculum is doing. Um, it's widening the ears, so I've got access with the suction tube to Gently wriggle this wax out. So you can see it's just getting somewhat trapped here. So I'm just going up and then over this part of the ear canal and I removed a sizable chunk there. So judging by the color of this wax, uh, it's been there for a while. So as I said, it's been 18 months since this patient last attended and they normally attend every year actually. And so it's, the wax is oxidized. And no doubt one of the reasons why this patient is getting a wax buildup is because of their um, narrow and bendy ear canal. So generally speaking, what earwax tries to migrate out of the ear, but it then has to navigate via the bends and uh, the, the, the ear anatomy. So if you have a narrow ear canal, the wax can get trapped. Similarly, if you've got a bendy ear canal, as the wax is traveling on the bends, it can get trapped. So this last piece of wax is quite deep in the ear. So I decided to revert to the smaller specular, but I'm not sure actually it made much difference because, as I said, we can't stretch open the bony part of the ear canal. Um, so I think I probably would have got the same or even a, a better visual with the, the larger specular where we stretched open the outer third. But uh, I decided to continue anyway because I could see the wax. But yeah, um, something that I've learned here in this particular case that I could have just continued really with the... Um, the larger specular because you can see deeper in the ear there uh, the specular doesn't go that far into the ear canal and it's made up of bone anyway so it does it you see the eardrum there and that gives you a good idea of how narrow this ear canal is there's a bit of skin anteriorly and a bit deeper now as i was suctioning this we got a bit of clarinetting so i, I kind of stopped straight after it came away so I left that bit of deeper skin. It's non-significant and I just didn't want it to, to clarinet. So some of you may be wondering what clarinetting is. So when you suction dead skin, sometimes the skin can flap at the tip. And I think we just got a little bit there. So I stopped and it emits a very loud high frequency squeal. It's not only loud for the patient, but it's loud for myself. And you want to be careful of uh, uh, noise induced hearing loss. Micro suction can be quite noisy, uh, particularly if it clarinets. And sound levels can exceed sometimes 110, 120 decibels. And being exposed to that level of sound for, uh, uh, in terms of earwax removal, it's probably not going to be long enough, but you don't want to take the risk. And obviously, as a special, as soon as we hear that, we kind of come out to reduce it. So yeah, it wasn't the, the, the benefit to risk ratio of removing that um, 
wasn't really there, so we just left that. So I had the smaller specular already attached, so I'm just using this for the right side. But yeah, once again, I've got quite a narrow ear. So that outer wax came out quite easily. So this is a bit deeper. So I'm just going to get it in focus. And I am just going to bring that forward. If there's any ear care specialist um, watching this video, um, it'd be great if you could just leave a comment to advise me of the smallest specular size that you use to perform microsuction. Um, so this one I'm using here, it's a 3.5 millimeter internal diameter. Typically in the UK, um, the sizes range from four millimeter, fives and six millimeter. You don't often get specular sizes smaller than four uh, millimeters for the purpose of earwax removal. Now you do get smaller specular to visualize the ear canal, but any smaller, um, normally what happens when you put the instrument in, it just blocks the whole view. But with the wax goat specular, because we've got this open slot um, at the roof, um, even with a really small specular, we've still got a decent visual. So we'll just remove that wax with the anterior canal wall, going to get the eardrum in focus, it all looks well. And you're going to see all the, the wax that I removed, so it looks pitch black as you can see. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video guys, um, and if you are interested in the wax gate, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you, bye.